everyone, it's Katie with One Music School, and today we're going to learn Escape My Mind by Grace Vanderwall. Don't forget to check out the description box below for my website. There you can find more information about setting up a one on one Skype lesson with me. Also, there is a chord chart. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. They let me know you like these videos and you'd like to see more. Also, if you want to be a part of the notification squad, make sure you hit the bell. Leave that in the comment section below that you've hit the bell, and you could receive a shout out in my next video. Today's shout out goes to Love Me, I'm a Unicorn. Thank you so much for your support. All right, let's get into the tutorial. So most of the chords are very easy. There was one bar chord, but we're gonna to try to work our way around it if you're not ready for that. No matter how you slice it, if you capoed it anywhere on the fretboard and you transposed it, there was going to be at least one bar chord. So let's give it a try. First, we have a G. I'm going to use this G variation right here. You can use this one. I've seen it done this way as well. I'm gonna use this one. Fingers four three and two are going to be on the third fret of the E, B, and the other E string. Finger number one on the second fret of the A string. Next, we'll need an E minor. You're going to take your focus box, aha, fingers two and three, place them on the second fret of the A and the D string. Then we need a C add nine. So if you find your G like this, just take these two fingers and bring them one string closer to your toes. And now for the bar chord. What you're going to do is you're going to bar the third fret. Um, if this is your first bar chord, make sure that you roll your finger onto its side. If you use the flat of your finger, your finger will be tempted to bend and it's going to be really hard to bar. So bring your elbow closer to your body, roll your finger onto its side, and then squeeze down. Fingers three and four are going to go on the fifth fret of the G and the D string, and then finger number two on the B string. Now here's a way to get around it. What you can do is then you could take these fingers right here, leave them there, but your pointer finger is just going to push down on the E string. And then you only play these four strings, the first four strings like that. If you wanna make it even more simple, you could just form stairs like this. And when you strum up and down, just make sure that you just strum up only so far or maybe halfway through the fretboard so that you can avoid these strings right here. And now for the strumming pattern and the counts, I'm going to be teaching these together because I feel like that's the best way to teach it. So the strumming pattern is just simply on 16th notes, down, up, 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 down, up. But the accents are going to be on the and uh, of the count. So it'll be one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. How I'm accenting those is that I'm just strumming just a little bit harder on those accents. So it'll be down, up, strum, strum, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So this is what it's going to sound like. We have a G, down, up, For one measure, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, C at nine, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So if we speed up the strumming pattern, it's going to sound like this. For the pre chorus and the chorus, it's very similar, but instead of your C at nine, you're going to be playing a C minor. Down, up, 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 down, up. Or down, up, 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 down, up. So you notice that when I'm strumming up and down, it's a very, very short motion. I don't try to strum all of the strings. Now the bridge is very similar to the rest of the song. You still are gonna play your G your E minor, but now you're gonna switch between a C and a C minor. So it'll be one E and a, two E and a, then minor, three E and a, four E and a. Now after the first chorus, there is an instrumental and it's just on a G chord, and the counts would be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and I'm just strumming down and in between I'm muting the strings I'm taking this portion of my palm and I'm touching the strings to stop them from vibrating 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and that's it that's everything that you need to know in order how to play escape my mind by grace vanderwall the play along is next would have never worked or at least I told myself to not make it hurt I tried to blast music in an attempt to get you out of my eyes but I can't escape my mind I hate you cause I always look at your picture and I tell Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.